Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and I'd like to show a case of PARS defects. Now, PARS defects are fractures of the back of the vertebral segments. Now, the vertebral bodies, here we have in profile in this patient, the squares of the vertebral bodies of the lumbar spine, and we can see them separated from each other by these horizontal bands, which are the intervertebral discs, and all the discs look normal except for this very bottom disc here. They have a disc herniation centrally. And also we notice on this view that the vertebral body, this bottom one called L5, is slipped forward just slightly relative to this one. And we see that little bit of anterior slippage or subluxation. We uh, look back here towards the back and see if there is a fracture of the posterior elements, we call those. So right here we have the spinous process. All these things at the midline are spinous processes. But if we roll off to the edges, we see facet joints. So the facets lock together at each level, and they keep the vertebral bodies from slipping forward. But again, when one slips forward like this, we wonder, hey, is the facet joint working? Do they have a pars defect? And so here's what the pars defects look like. This patient has bilateral pars defects. That means pars defects on both sides. And I'm going to take a normal example here. This is L3, L4, and the back of L4 here is on the left-hand side. If we zoom this up, we can see better. This is called the left pedicle. So the vertebral body is central. And in front, this is off on the left. You see this band coming back is the pedicle. And it goes up. There's a little bone here that goes up, and it articulates with this bone that comes down from three. This causes this uh, forms the left facet joint. And it also goes down. This is called the inferior articulating facet. And it joins with this bone down here that goes up. This is the facet joint. So this bone, the pedicle, comes over and goes up and down. And when it goes down, it should have a continuous piece like this, making it a, a U, upside down U. And right here is where patients have pars defects. So this little piece of bone become broken off and not be cont contiguous or continuous with that one. So if we look down here to this vertebral body below, let me scoot this over, we can see that this pedicle at L5 goes over. It does come up here and articulates here nicely. But when we try to follow it down, it ends right there. It comes over, ends. The other piece of bone is right here, this little piece. This piece should connect up here. So this is fractured. There's a wide gap between that. And when that's fractured, this is allowed to slip forward as it has. And we have a little offset here, a little step off. So this is a PARS defect. If we look on the right-hand side, most often they're bilateral but not always, but we do see the same thing. We see this go back, ends right here, and the other piece of bone that's separated is way down here. So this is bilateral PARS defects and a central disc herniation. Thank you very much.